The Dakar always involves the unexpected. In 2005, Stage 7 will be a real nightmare for the racers. Bad weather, breakdowns and helicopter rescue missions are on the menu as a sandstorm hits the caravan. It's common knowledge the Dakar really begins once the contestants reach Mauritania. And the seventh stage of the 2005 edition between Zwerat and Tishit will vouch for that. The 660 km long special stage, the longest in the rally, is caught in a sandstorm. As a result, the sand becomes thinner and petrol consumption increases. In these tricky conditions, many contestants, eager to make it to the Tishit oasis before nightfall, start making mistakes. The amateurs, of course, but also the professionals. But the real problem is the sand, which gradually gets more unstable, causing the bikers to make numerous stops to avoid serious accidents. On this very tricky terrain, falls, accidents and the number of racers forced to retire increase every day. The amateurs, 40% of which are taking part in their first Dakar, are obviously the first ones to suffer. Due to the soft sand, the petrol consumption exceeds all expectations and many racers are left stranded in the desert with an empty tank, while others manage to make it to the bivouac in one piece. Most of these amateurs therefore have to spend the night in the desert and a few of them group up to face the cold and the sandstorm together. Others prefer to move along, even if every mile takes its toll on their morale. Whether it be on their own or towed by a security truck, they just want to keep moving, like four times winner Ari Vatanen. In the morning, the organizers decide to cancel the day's special stage and to organize a rescue party as helicopters go looking for stragglers. In the end, a third of the contestants will have to retire in this stage due to drastic weather conditions.